Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Try It Out Tuesday. It is Tuesday, it is 8pm and live on Facebook on Beecraft Stamps. I am here. I hope you're doing well. Okay. So as per usual, we will just wait for a few people to join in and then we will get started. We'll make sure we turn our sound down so I can't hear myself. Hello, Alison. How are you, my darling? Are you good? Oh. Oof. I'm making all sorts of noises. I'll take that out of there. No, I'm not. Already changed my mind. I'm just going to weight it down with that clip a bit. There we go. Hello, Martin. Hiya, Pearl. Hello, Maxine, Kim. Okay. So, as I said, last time I was here, because Sam was here last week, a little treat for you. So it's a bit of a vacay from my dulcet tones. You had Sammy last week. Um... It was Katie's new school induction evening thing. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> and I did say last time I was here, two weeks ago, if you had any questions, things like that, make sure you get in touch. Make sure you tell me. Make sure, you know, if you have any questions that you do tell me because, you know, I want to cover what you want to know. All right. So, basically, someone has done that. I, I never named who these people are unless they unless they're definitely happy with that and i didn't check so i'm not going to say basically this person like most of us at the minute is feeling the pinchy pinch um and it's not fun and basically what they're wanting to do is build their collection of stamps and templates inkables things like that um so what they wanted to know was but they want to have a go at art journaling but they've only got notebooks okay and so they don't really want to dedicate their crafty spends to a journal at the minute so they said so they asked if i could do some art journaling in a notebook um now because those of you that know know and those of you that don't in fairness you probably still know sam has a problem when it comes to books but not satisfied with having this problem for herself you see she forces it on others around her okay so this book that we're going to be working on this evening is a brand new notebook and i think she made me buy it because it says sam's on it um and yeah she loves it if she feels like she's bought enough books she'll just make you buy one it is just a line notebook okay um so what i've done i have lightly gessoed some of the pages what i've also done is i've gone through this book has quite a lot of signatures. I think it had about 10, 10 to 12 signatures. And I've taken out the centre pages from every single one. Okay? Because if we're going to use this as a journal, it means we're going to be adding things, layers to it. So in order to keep it, so it doesn't just end up like that straight away, I've taken out the centre signatures, which is great because it means I can use these for making collage paper and stuff like that later okay so it's wicked actually it generates two things and in all honesty if i get further through the book and i feel like i need to take out some more i will it's kind of that simple really um and in reality what i should have done is taken out the first and last one anyway like completely but never mind so i've taken out the like the center two pages out of every signature Okay, just to make it easier for me as I progress through the book. So like I said, I've done a light coat in a gesso. Would I say it's 100% dry? I'm not sure I would. I'm not sure I would. But we're going to proceed anyway. I've given it a little waft with the old heat tool. You know? Would love to come book shopping. Well, Alison, honestly, as long as you're willing to buy books, Sam's your woman. Do you know what I mean? I have like, like th this isn't the only one. It's like not even close. Look, I've got another one there. That one's um, a dotted notebook. These books haven't even opened. I've got another one there. Another one there. I've got three more. I've got a stack of moleskins that in fairness she bought me. For either Christmas or my birthday or something. Do you know what I mean? It's just books. It's books all the time. 
So, to be fair, it was a blooming good question. Can you do in a notebook? And I'm hopefully the answer is going to be absolutely because otherwise I'm going to drown in them. Right. <clears throat> So I've been using a lot of dilution spray recently for painting and that sort of thing. It was for my birthday. Oh, I really need to crack them open then, don't I? Um, so I was like, ooh, shall we have a go with some oxides? Okay, so I've been and picked off my shelf some oxide. Oh, that's spray stain. I oh, will go with it. Um, so I've got a distress spray stain and two oxide sprays. Okay, now if you love sprays like i love the dilution zinc sprays they are what got me started in art journaling seeing diane reevely use them and i love how they blend together um and they also really sort of make color theory make sense for me um which is brilliant if you do have any questions on color theory or you want just a quick explanation of it or not not so quick explanation of it i have done um a video that's on youtube that's got um and I use the dilution shimmer sprays and we talk a bit about colour theory there. Okay, so on these I've got the oxide spray in the rustic wilderness, the spray stain in the prize ribbon and the fossilised amber oxide spray. But obviously I like to use three. I generally like to use three. I could give you a reason. I'm not sure I really have one. But there we are. Um, so... The important thing to remember with the oxide sprays is you cannot make these yourself, okay? Because if you, for example, take an oxide re now you can make a spray, but it won't work like these. Because if you take an oxide re and mix it with water in a spritzer or a mini mister or something like that, the ink's then oxidised. Already it's got that sort of white oxidisation to it. These don't have it until you spritz them with water. Do you see what I mean? It's the ink formula in a spray. Um, so, yeah. It's exactly the same with your spray stains, okay? You can't take an ink pad re and create a spray stain because it will already have reacted with water, so therefore your spray is no longer water reactive. And that's one of the best things about distress ink, isn't it? That you can do ghosting and water techniques. So, just something to bear in mind. All right. Are we clear? Marvellous. Um, so what I've also done is I've taken these signatures, uh, the centre page signatures that I've taken out, and I have put these behind, because like I said, I'm going to use them for collage paper anyway and stamping up, because that way you can use bits that have got ink spray on them to create just like bits to collage up as well. You know, you can stamp your, your stamps on just to collage them up. And then they're ready for when you're creating. Um, and I'm running a bit low on my cutouts pile. Okay. See, Linda, I thought I was addicted to notebooks, but Sam's just taking it to a whole new level. I mean, it's like a whole new level. But the problem is she's made me take it to that level as well. Now, I will say with oxides um, in a lot of your sprays, you will get a sediment. So we're going to give them a really good shake. Or oh, Sam likes to read the instructions, doesn't she, on Ranger products? And yes, it does say adult use only. Um, but I will say they are all water-based. Um, they're acid-free. Don't stress about it too much. Shake well before using. Spray directly on porous surfaces for quick, easy ink coverage. Mist with water to blend colour and create mottled effects. Apply additional layers for more saturated colour. Coordinates with a distressed palette of products. Clean spray nozzle after each use. So, your spray stain does not have a widget for mixing. Your oxides do. Okay, because it's a different formula. Because it is that pigment dye mix. So we're going to give them a bit more of a rattle. Yes, I said we should have done this before. All right, my darling, don't you worry. We'll be here when you're ready. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and I'm going to spray with some of my fossilised amber there. I am only doing a single page. Okay, and then I'm going to go with my spray stain. Now this is going to be very blue. So I'm going to go in quite light with that. And then with my Rustic Wilderness, which actually is one of my favourite oxide sprays. It's just got this beautiful um, 
sort of rich green. It's a really rich green. It doesn't have a bluey hue or a yellowy hue. It's just a really rich green. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take another one of my ripped out ones. And we're just going to go across the top. Okay. Now, now you can see the instant difference between where I've gessoed and where I haven't. Okay, the intensity of colour is very, very, very different. Okay, you've got an almost sort of resist on here and here. But that's exactly what we were going for, okay? Which is wonderful! I mean, I, I wouldn't pretend like all these models are exactly what I was going for, because, I mean, how can you predict that? But I'm very happy with the colour. Okay? So then that is ready for stamping on or ripping and adding to ATCs or anything like that. So we're just going to heat set that a little. Because then you've got a nice base just to build your layers. Okay, so from here I'm going to grab my Harlequin six by six inkable okay so i had a look and it was today i realized there is over 80 80 six by six inkables when i say over 80 there's 80 i want to say 82 82 six by six inkables on the be crafty website okay and there is also a multi-buy discount. Um, Sam and I are trying to put on anything we can for a multi-buy discount. Put that on there as well. And we're going to go back in and heat set. Okay, I'm not entirely sure that the bottom ones where I reverse the mask are showing up as well as I want to. So I'm just going to do a little zoomy zoom. Ooh, yeah, you can see that much better now, can't you? All these diamonds here in the Harlequin. Oh, that's better. Okay, so we're going to heat set that. Okay, yeah, so sorry, the multiply. <laughs> Buy three, get 10% off. Blooming marvellous. All right. Okay, so look how much is on there already. Okay, you know, if you take into... I'm going to put that because I think it... Sometimes blind you. Okay. You've got all this lovely mottled detail. You've got this beautiful harlequin up here. You've got the reverse here. And it's only been a couple of sprays of ink so far. This is why I was very understanding of the craft that said, I want to buy inks, I want to buy stamps, I want to buy templates and all this sort of thing. Because my oxide sprays my dilutions ink sprays my, they do a lot and they go a really really long way like a really long way you're really going to have to go some to use them up okay aside from your yellows you'll always use them up quicker which is weird because i don't think any of us necessarily think about using yellow but it's a great mixer color you know like i said when i pick three colors a yellow is a great one for that so okay now I'm waffling. So we need, I'm going to get some dinkables now, I think. So I'm going to go for, to go, not instead of, but sort of like in contrast with the Harlequin, I'm thinking of maybe the dot from dinkable set two. Okay. And we'll use some of the grit paste. Um, I'm going to use some of the opaque grit paste. And I'll just grab a little palette knife. These, I'll just use the little cheapy palette knives, I won't lie. Because I lose them or I leave grit paste on them and then they're ruined. And, you know. Okay, but if you wanted to, so it looks great in the white, doesn't it? But what you could also do is where it could be a blending mat. Here we go. So you could take 
some of your grit paste on here. You could then spray it with your spray stain. Okay, now obviously it could change the consistency a little bit because you know you're adding more liquid so I would say do it a little bit at a time until you get the colour you want. I've done far too much but that's fine. Okay, and then you've got a beautifully coloured grip paste that's matching your project. So instead of, for example, this is why we've never really um, adhered to coloured texture pastes. Because if you have reinkers, spray stains, oxide sprays, dilution sprays, whatever, and a texture paste, then you, you have all the colours you'll ever need. Okay, and more importantly, you'll be able to match them with your project at the time so let's have a look see what else we've got in number two i could use oh we've got a little distressed diamond which is gonna go lovely it's almost like i knew what i was doing except you guys know me so you know that's not what's happened so i'm gonna put a little a few of those there okay now in order not to waste this grip paste you could put it in a little pot if you've got one but what i am going to do i'm just going to go onto this extra piece we've got here and just put it on there because that way it's ready Yeah, and we're starting another page already. So that could go into a junk journal or something like that. Funnily enough, I was talking... Oh, if you have joined Threads, we are on Threads. Um, and I'm trying to use it as more of a chatting place. So come and chat to me on Threads. Um, All right, so I'm going to get some of the stamping tissue now because we're going to stamp our doodle art mushrooms onto here. Okay. And I'm going to ink these up. Yeah, so please come and chat to me on threads. I'm trying to use it as more of a chatty place. Um, I'm not telling you to join threads I'm just saying if you are on threads um, come and join us there um, so yeah Instagram for pictures uh, Instagram and Facebook for pictures Facebook for lives YouTube to find all the videos easily in category and threads for chatting threads is like it's the it's the it's uh what's the best way to describe it without getting anyone into trouble <clears throat> it's mark zuckerberg's um version of twitter and i don't really like twitter because i think twitter's mean i find twitter mean <laughs> the thread seems to be quite nice so far so i'm sure it'll change they always do don't they Okay, so I'm just heat setting that on our stamping tissue. Okay, because this is um, the thin... Yeah, it's more like the chat version of Insta. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it instead of comparing it to the other one. Um, I'm stamping this onto tissue for two reasons. One, I knew I was going to use grip paste and I wasn't entirely sure where I was going to use it. And two, it provides another layer to reinforce these pages which are quite thin um but obviously that's where the gesso comes in because if you look at this one obviously it wasn't gessoed that's the ink that's gone through to the other side if you look at this one where i did gesso it hasn't 
just pull that back to the middle a bit more yeah so if you are working in a notebook i think gesso is um necessary um it's probably the best way of putting it i do really think it's necessary my scissors aren't working on that at all it's because they're sticky Why are all my stickers, or why are all my sticker scissors, uh, why are all my scissors sticky? Right, they only cleaned, that's why. Um, right, so I'm just cutting round. You can do this with a paintbrush if you want. And I actually have clean water, so I could have done it with a paintbrush. Okay, and then... That is going to sit right there. So I'm going to grab some matte medium and a brush with which to apply it. Okay. I'm going to go on the back. Now, obviously, the good thing, I'm sorry for saying, obviously, that's a habit I've picked up from my husband. One of the good things about stamping tissue is that you can reverse your image. So, for example, these toadstools are this way round, but they'd be easy to reverse if you wanted to. Okay, so basically we're just using our matte medium. Now that will move some of the ink again because like I said before, it's a water-based ink. So that's why I applied it to the back of the stamping tissue off here and then to go over the top of the stamping tissue once it's on. Okay, and then your stamping tissue is invisible. Okay on your journal page so it just means if you're not confident stamping directly onto the page or you think the service service surface i'm really sorry i've been up since half past three this morning um if the surface is you think it might be a little bit uneven it's just an easier way okay so the stamping tissue is on the website i think sam has already put you a link on now we are just going to give that matte medium a little chance. What I should have done was heat set some of the grip paste before I did that. But, you know. Is anyone really surprised I didn't? I'm not. So have we all been, have we all had a chance to do any creating this week? I haven't. The first two weeks of July are absolutely insane around here. Um, in, in this year more than usual because we've had induction days and new parents evenings and all this sort of thing and it's and I don't know about you but when you're going through a busy time do you have that thing where you sort of sit there you have an evening and go tomorrow's gonna be quieter or next week will be quieter and then you get to that time and it's not it's not right okay that seems to be dry now okay plus obviously the kids haven't broken up from school yet so I'm a bit savage about that makes me upset Right, so I'm going to get my palette. Obviously, this is something we've been using a lot recently. Um, you can use, again, like I say, you can use whichever palette you've got. But with, if you have your spray stains and you have other... Th the end... Oh, crikey. Can't speak. Oxides, things like that. Dilutions. You can paint with them you can create so many things with them you know you can change the color of your texture pastes and all this sort of thing and it's just that freedom that it allows um that make it so good so you can so you can see art journaling in a notebook absolutely lovely and in fairness you can really faintly see the lines underneath and i actually really like it like i really really like it um right so water we're gonna 
go in with this. Now, obviously, if we're adding water, that is going to oxidise it slightly, but that's okay. But the beauty of oxide, is obviously, is it sits on top of darker colours in terms of it shows up because it's more opaque, which means we can go in here and we can colour in our mushrooms yellow on the darker one. Okay, and then we'll go to, do you know what, I'm going to take a little bit of the green, the fossilised amber, and we'll go to this one. So it's sort of like a mix between the rustic wilderness and the fossilised amber. See, I, I'm doing it as sort of like a wash because I still want to be able to see the diamonds underneath. Because I think that really gives the impression as well that the toadstools were stamped directly on. And then we'll use the prize ribbon spray stain. So this is going to be a little, quite a bit more vivid. Ah, and you see it doesn't stick quite as well over the matte medium. So I'm going to add a little bit of the oxide to that and look lovely okay and then we've got our three mushrooms but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of this green to the side of that one and then I'm going to take what's left I'm going to add some spatters around here but I'll tell you what I am going to do I'm going to give it another little off with a heat tool With the heater. I will say if you are checking through your colours um, in your oxides and you don't have a rustic wilderness um, it it really is a good colour I feel like it was kind of overlooked when it was a new colour even by me I'm not blaming anyone and not myself for that one I overlooked it because what I was desperate for was a yellow and gave me a green um, and it's such a good colour I use it a lot isn't that always the way though Okay, so I'm going to actually dry this brush off quite a bit because I want some really good fossilised amber spatters. And I, I am quite loyal to fossilised amber, I won't lie. And the reason for that is when oxides were first released, and I'm talking about the ink pads here, I had my doubts I, I, I was worried they were a product for product's sake um and obviously this is lots of years ago now i think it was 2018 um and i was worried that you know is it just another distress product that we're gonna have to buy because we're addicted to them but does it do anything different and it was actually the fossilized amber distress oxide ink pad that made me go oh no these are something else so and yes, it's weird to have loyalty to a colour, I know. So there we go. So I'm just going to dry that on. I was going to say, can you see this okay? Or do I need to zoom in at all? Well, obviously I can't tell because I'm watching it on my phone on a small screen. So yeah, the reason the oxide spray shows up on top of these darker colours is because of the opacity of it and because it's a blended ink. Okay. You can't believe I'm using Rustic Wilderness to use that for tomorrow's blog post. Annie, haven't I done that to you before? I'm sure I've done that to you before and recently I used something or it might or it was Jane or somebody. I posted something. It was Jane. I think. Uh, not Jane. Uh Alison. I'd done something with like doodle art mandalas or something and it was anyway I'm obviously losing the ability to construct the sentence word things oh right so with my doodle arts um I've, I've decided to go sort of like a blend with the old and the new so with the 
doodle art mushrooms i thought some new mixed messages would go and i knew the words would stop working at some point so i have cut me uh the time is now from the mixed messages one um so this was the first in the mixed messages sets um, that sam did and i absolutely fell in love with this sort of ticker tape with the black i think it works really well it stamps beautifully and you can emboss it too um really really stunning um i was going to add some more black stamp into this but i'm actually thinking hang on just give me a minute because now i'm actually thinking should i have something else hmm because on this this has got some really good little bits on and i'm wondering do i add them in oh this is my version of minimalist should i leave it as my version of min minimalist that's the question I'll tell you what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick this on whilst i'm giving it more thought that's what i'm going to do I just feel like Addy would have done like 34 different layers or at least made it look like it had 34 different layers so let me just See, and it's things like sticking the messages on is the reason I took the signatures out, those centre pages out, because if you're adding depth in, you know, that space has to go somewhere. It really does. There is a distinct possibility I'll leave it. I know what to do. I know what to do. There is a stamp that rescues this every single time. Okay. If you're not sure if you're if it's finished the way you want it to finish, the crackle background or the script actually, because if you do the script in colour, oh maybe I should do the script. Yeah, right. I'm actually going to do the script. So I'm going to grab the script right and either so either of these stamps do this job and i'm going to grab the prize ribbon in the oxide um and i'm going to stamp it well, i'm actually going to try it paler first so i'm going to stamp it off once <gasps> right okay and then i'm going to do the same again so i'm going to ju it's just freehand not with a block I'm going to take the excess off on there and just put a bit on there so it's really pale and then I'm going to do one more time and now it's finished and now I can leave it alone she says maybe no we're not going to leave it alone just yet I'm going to grab a pasta pen just to add in a few more of these little top details from our mushrooms down the stems and 
How's the paper in the book coat with that? Actually, really well. Really, really well. Um, I don't think I will stick it to the page behind. Because like I say, because I've taken those um, <clears throat> bits out, I've definitely got the depth. But what I might do is I may alternate. Okay? So, for example, this one's got the gesso and the spray on it. So when I go to do the back of this one, okay, what I'll probably do is go for one of the catalyst papers okay or something like that because then that'll create a layer that i can just map medium on and then build on top of without risk of anything coming through to that page okay so that's probably what i'll do there but the paper has actually coped with it right well like i say i only gessoed I didn't just so far enough in advance, really. So I think where it just wasn't dry is the, the bits that it's come through. Um, but yeah, where I'm inking on, I'll probably make sure I collage on the opposite side. So if you've got a notebook um, and you want to have going art journal and you haven't yet because you didn't want to invest in an art journal or something like that, then have a go with your notebook. OK, I've got some I've got this lovely, cute little notebook as well that Sam made me buy that also says Sam's on the front. Shall I get it and show you? Um, here we go. The seat hasn't even been opened yet. Um, so I'm going to try and do some more reels, just assembling little pages in here. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Like I say, we've just been absolutely so busy. Um, like you all, honestly, everybody seems busy at the minute. I mean, we're not for one minute suggesting it's just us. Um, but keep an eye out. And like I always say, if you have any questions any questions or anything that you would like me to see show you oh i'm losing the words i'm so sorry if you this is the first time you're joining us i promise whilst i wouldn't necessarily use the word eloquent i'm usually better than this but the words and the sentence no um if there's anything you'd like to see on a try it out tuesday or any tutorial because obviously we do have sally do wednesdays for us every other week please let us know and we will make sure that topic is covered speaking of sally her the <laughs> the july challenge is live in the bee crafty stamps group on facebook if you're not a member of that group please do so it's where we chat about bee crafty things um and sally has a challenge going where you can win a voucher for free stamps you can enter three times and it is a quick cards i believe this month so you've got no excuse not to do three all right my loves Thank you so much for joining me and bearing with me whilst I was having problems with the old words and sentences and things. Have a great rest of your evening. Bye-bye.